Memphis and Hamza had some exciting news on the latest episode of 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days. It wasn't a shock that they got married. In fact, even the pregnancy announcement only confirmed rumors. However, Memphis had shared an adorable photo of her baby on social media not too long ago. There was just one problem, Hamza said that it wasn't his. Um, what? Memphis Sandoval, also known as Memphis Smith and more recently as Memphis Chartelard and Mokni, traveled to Tunisia to be with Mokni I Hamza. She didn't go all that way for sexy time. Well, not only for that, Memphis went there to marry Hamza, and that's what they did. After all that they went through to be together, it was expected that they would marry. Besides, late last year, Memphis filed paperwork using her married name, which was sort of a spoiler. What caught most viewers by surprise was Memphis' post-nuptial announcement. Memphis showed Hamza and the cameras her positive pregnancy test. She was, she shared, a few weeks pregnant. Real talk. There's a decent chance that Memphis had already told Hamza and reenacted the test for the cameras. Clearly, the two had been enjoying their newly wedded bliss. Memphis and Hamza shared the happy news with his family. His mother, Hayat, was especially thrilled to have a grandbaby on the way. Back in January, there were rumors circulating that Memphis had given birth. Most of these stemmed from statements made on Twitter by her alleged ex. A man claiming to have dated Memphis answered a few questions from interested fans. He didn't come across like a bitter ex, and even emphasized that she's a good person who makes mistakes. Is he one of those ill-advised relationship decisions to which he alludes? One claim in particular, that Memphis had given birth a few months earlier to Hamza's baby, raised eyebrows. A random Twitter account isn't confirmation, even if it appears authentic. Memphis giving birth in the final months of 2021, around the same time as she began using her new married name, does add up. As we know, the show airs with an eight-month delay after filming on average, but sometimes goes back much further. Memphis recently tweeted a photo of an adorable baby wearing a red outfit and strapped into a car seat. God has truly blessed me with healthy and amp, beautiful children, she gushed. Memphis continued, this is the best gift anyone could ask for. Unconditional love of a child. Innocent and amp, true. Two assumptions at that point made the most sense. The first was that this was a throwback photo of one of Memphis' two existing kids. The second was that the rumors were true, and that this was a pic of her several months old baby with Hamza. When an Instagram blogger shared a screenshot of the photo, Hamza commented. Like my son not my son, he wrote. It's unclear what he meant, but some interpreted it as a denial of paternity. That is super weird, and Hamza was in no position to say more. In fact, he could potentially break his NDA by saying more. Memphis then clarified that this was a throwback picture of my seven-year-old son, rather than Hamza's child. Weirdest of all came a series of non-committal emoji replies that Memphis made on Instagram. She seemed unwilling to comment, but did not outright deny someone's characterization of her pregnancy timeline. It's possible that she was confirming that her third child isn't actually Hamza's, that she was already pregnant when she went to Tunisia. Of course, it's also possible that we are misreading those emojis. Some even speculated that the baby could be Hamza's, but that Memphis is denying that he is the father to try to avoid an international custody battle. Frankly, we don't have enough information yet, and it feels unlikely that we'll even get clear answers at the tell-all. Part of the reason for that may be that these two were seen and appeared to be filming in Michigan, meaning that they'll be on another season. Sadly, it does not appear that they'll have a happily ever after. Memphis' passive-aggressive vague posts and the history of her likes makes it sound like they had a very bitter breakup. Only time will tell how that went down.